Everybody and welcome back to Crimson Plays Assassin's Creed. I hope you all have had a great weekend and are doing well. Um, sorry, I'm still like last second touches. Yep. All right. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all have been behaving yourselves uh, in one way or another. Hello, Yvonne. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, <coughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna just kind of warn you guys ahead of time that I'm not at my best right now um I'm not exactly ill but I'm just kind of off you know it's just one of those things where the whole day has just been kind of off um so yeah um I'm still gonna be doing my best but um yeah uh anyway before we get properly started Linktree has the things that do the stuff. Um, so you should absolutely check those out, please, and thank you. If not, I mean, okay. But, like, you know, it'd be nice. Um, yeah, no, like, if I didn't feel up to streaming, I would absolutely have canceled. But, uh, yeah. Linktree and the stuff does the things to help and make things good. Um, so, yeah. If you can help, that's great. If not, also great. I won't hold it against you. <coughs> anyway. Uh, let's get properly started. Um, uh, as, well, real quick, as you can see here, um, I completed the brigand set. Uh, more or less for the equipment um, the only thing I did not get that was not the only thing I got that was not brigand was the belt <coughs> excuse me and as you can see actually you can't because my camera is kind of in the way hold please let me turn off my camera for a second uh, there we go as you can see here on the right of the screen uh, the difference between uh, the brigand belt and the military belt like yes the brigand belt looks cooler between the assassin symbol and the eagle on the on the belt buckle and all of that but the fact that it only gives me at most seven smoke bombs and four extra bullets that's a no from me dog um because the gun is one of the things that i use the most followed by the smoke bombs um i need to use the cherry bombs more um i also like that it, this that the military belt gave me more of the poison gas um as opposed to the stun grenades because the stun grenades i don't use that often in general mainly because i keep forgetting that they exist um so yeah i decided to go with the military belt despite the fact that this looks so gorgeous look at that like, it's got the assassin symbol right here on the hip, under his arm, as well as on the belt buckle over here. You know, it's a beautiful belt, but <clears throat> this is the one that gives me the modifiers that I, that, uh, that help the best, you know? Ah, uh, excuse me a second while I put a cough drop in my mouth and then I'll turn my camera back on. Okay, and camera back on. There we go. Hello again, everybody. Okay. So yeah, this is essentially what we're going to be going with, at least for now. Um, so yeah, anyway, we were, we are, yeah, I said it, we are, um, okay, just a quick catch up on things. Um, last stream, I did tell you, show you guys that I had gone back through the things and 100%ed all the side things like that, specifically that, uh, poison kills from this mission right here that I'm highlighting. Um, also, I have gone through and 100%ed all of these. Um, as you can see here. Uh, the ones that I haven't are ones we haven't done yet. Um... 
And then there's these, which again, have we, we've done them all except for one. And then I went through the Helix Rifts, completed those. Again, those aren't things that I would do on stream. They're just kind of grindy. Um, and uh, let's see here. And then at proof here that I have all the artifacts and all the chests and all the cockades. And um, the sync points are reliant on me completing the co-op missions, etc., etc., so on and so forth. All right, so what are we doing first today? Well, chronologically, we are at the point where Marquis de Sade gets arrested for moderatism, um, which I believe is not a murder mystery, so that's the wrong thing for me to click. Uh, we want the... There it is, Desaad's Reprieve. And that'll most likely be up here somewhere. Uh... Missions. Desaad's Reprieve. R Reprieve, right there. Uh... Do we have a closer teleportation? No? Okay. Marquis de Sade. I consider him to be an interesting historical character, Marquis de Sade. Um, <clears throat> I find him fascinating. Uh, that's not to say whether or not he was a good or bad person or anything like that. Oh, no. I just I find him personally fascinating as a historical figure. Um, So, I don't know where I was going with that, but anyway, how have you been doing? Actually, I know how you've been doing, Yvonne, but for public, how have you been doing, Yvonne? fair. I'm sorry you're struggling. I wish there was something I could do. But I know there's not. The citizens at long last the sordid and depraved Marquis de Sade is soon to plop his head in a basket. <clears throat> he is charged with moderatism, but in reality his crimes descend to far, to far greater depths. Our congratulations to the office of prosecutor, that person in the Grand Châtelet in anticipa anticipation of a successful prosecution, the editor. Become a JRPG protag and fight God. From your, from your lips to my reality. to my reality, I swear to God. I would absolutely do that if I could. For many reasons. And I'd win, too. None of this sealing him away in a jar because he's technically too powerful for me. Bullshit. Nah. Nah. Woo! 
Tatele. Actually, before I do that, let's go top up my ammunition. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't mean to s <laughs> to sprint right into you. Something, something, something. Fuck the police. You must write to Robespierre. Remind him how I've helped you lock up the charge. I'm just going to let them duke it out for a second. I'm going to... You're gonna come investigate? So I need to go up a level. Okay. Which side is up? There. Okay. Let these fellows get back to their posts.
Well, that didn't go well. Sorry, Arno. Okay. Okay. Nobody. All right. I have found the order of execution. And now I just need a DT the FO. Hmm. Sod's reprieve, and now, okay, progress tracker, social club missions, Barra's funeral. The young soldier Joseph Barra became a national hero <coughs> when he was killed by horse thieves. His legend grew when Robespierre claimed that Barra died to royalists, and that his last words were long live the republic. Royalist forces are threatened by Barra's growing legend, and Arno must defend Barra's funeral procession from their attacks. Okay. Alright, so now missions. This was a thingy thingy. Black office, that's not what we're doing. Down here. Barra's funeral. Alright. We'll get to that one. Uh... Okay. Barra's funeral. Defend the funeral possession of Joseph Barra. Speak to the contact. Check, 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 and check. All right, well, let's go. Sorry, ma'am. Hi guys. Oh. 
Hi guys. Wait, where am I going? A tits, get a casket. Bar is in a bag. A casket. We're trying to take Joseph Barra's body to the Pantheon, but some bloody royalists want to stop us. I'll help defend you. There's a crowd of people waiting to give respects to this lad. He is a hero of the revolution. We've got to reach the ceremony in time. Let's go. Like ride the casket? Ah, uh, no. That would be a bit disrespectful, apparently. There is an ad that is about to start. Defending the memory of this young hero of France. Now that the remains of Joseph Barat have arrived, we can begin. Though Joseph Barat was hardly more than a child, he served the revolution as a hero in Vendée. The royalists demanded his horse.
each other. Sadistic blackmail. The Marquis de Sade has several political enemies, each one hiding a salacious secret. Steal objects and documents that expose those secrets so that de Sade can blackmail his opponents. Alright. Salacious blackmail. Sadistic blackmail. Uh... Also, Yvonne. 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 You're probably busy. After the removal of Grignon, my political enemies became reckless. I happen to know that each one is hiding a delightfully salacious secret. Here is a list of items to blackmail them. Steal those items and Grignon's old debauched neighborhood will remain under my... Gentle care. I do hate to be a scold, but I really need all of those objects. you put that letter? What's the problem now? If anyone reads it, I'm a dead man. Don't be silly. You have to find it. I now have that letter. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da 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 
Tequila. I have money. Turn it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Welcome back from the ad break. I've just been over here humming the uh, various music. Blackmail. Ah, yes. Thank you, Arno. I take such pleasure in imposing my will on others. Is that wrong? <laughs> it ain't good. <laughs> but I mean, you know, not to kink shame. <laughs> I mean, but if they're into it, and consent is a thing, you know? All right, next up is The American Prisoner. On the 24th of December, 1793, Thomas Paine was arrested. After writing some of the American Revolution's most inspiring tracts, Thomas Paine moved to France to witness the revolution. Because of his support for one of the moderating fa uh, moder moderating fa factions, I can read. Um, Paine has been thrown in prison and his manuscripts taken from him. Recover these those manuscripts, including his original draft of the seminal Rights of Man. Alrighty then. There it is. Arno, up, Arno, up, Arno. Oh, over here. There's a document that the council wants to recover. The rights of man. The author is in the prison just down the street. You've got a good chance to talk to him right there. What they did the prison as an exercise break. His name is Thomas Payne. Okay. Oh, Godspeed. Eject. There you go. That's what I was telling you to do. Ouch. Don't worry about it. Alright. Now then, back to what I was doing. Donnez vite l'alerte 
j'ai trouvé le corps de quelqu'un Allez, vite Right, sir. Got on the wrong side of Bob's here. Thank God. I couldn't take another minute listening to that writer. When they bring us out here, I expect to get loaded into a tumble. Aha, there are the stairs. That was hilarious watching the two of them face off like that. <laughs> Come on, somebody win. Pull the trigger. Good boy. Would somebody win? Here, let me help. Out of your misery or my misery depending on how you want to put it and them out of my misery <laughs> uh, okay I've got this area 
oh, oh, oh. No? Okay, good. Yeah, he's on the other side of that wall. So I can walk up on him and prick. Okay. No, 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 no. Woo! No, no. He saw nothing. How's the wife? Sick again. Got to learn a little extra to get her to a doctor. Okay, I can't throw... Oh, I could. I could, actually. Wait, who just saw me? Oh, he saw me. Shit. You know what? I have cherry bombs. Come on. Oh no. There you go. That's not right. I was just behind you. Come here. Honorous scum! Ah. Right in front of me. <coughs> Who's killed you, Antoine? Something's not right. Some bastards turned off Saint Pierre. Oh, Christ! Bloody firecrackers on. Can't you see I'm busy? Shit. What is it? I'm here to get the rights of man. That'll take some doing. Damn Warden took it. Bastard took all my scribblings. I'll tell you what. You go find it and my other two tracts, and I'll let you keep it. It's all rubbish anyway. Mm -hmm. But I'd like those other two back. I wasn't finished with those. He's got a posh estate over by Les Invalides. Go nose about there. Les Invalides. <laughs> the, that is the most American way he could have said that, and I love it. Lays in Valide. <laughs> oh, God. It's a good pupper.
didn't count apparently <laughs> Pain. Thomas Pain. The question is, have these guys refreshed themselves? They doesn't look like it. Ah, they have. Darn. Okay. Well, this is okay. So I'll just walk up to you guys and shank you both. Do <laughs> 
da na 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 Mida! Ba do ba do 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 poo Ba do ba do 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 poo Ba do ba do 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 poo Oh Wrong way Ba do ba do 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 poo Ba da 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 na Ah Ah Have you got them all? Don't know why I wanted them back, it's all rubbish here, keep the rights of man if it's so damned important to you. I could break you out of here. Break out? Christ, no. Let them do what they will with me. It's a matter of principle, man. Uh. Principle may get him killed. Um, next up is the... Which one? This one. M. Robespierre, I have succeeded in beguiling some workshops near the Barriere, ba Barriere de Martyr, probably the Wall of Martyrs, uh, into using defective materials in the manufacture of military armaments. Uh, I have further arranged for the defective arms to be delivered to the troops commanded by Captain Bonaparte. I think we can be certain that the young captain's rising star will shoot will soon begin to fall. Water. Hydration. I am so sorry. Wow, I was not paying attention. Hydration. gonna let them sort this out.
And there's the letter I already read. Okay. Time to locate the armaments.
right, we are up to this one right here. Marianne's hard-working parents were executed for being lacking in revolutionary spirits. The man that denounced them conveniently took them uh, took their home after the execution. Marianne has since locked herself in a shed and is teaching herself how to use a sword. Help Marianne learn to fight and to win back her home. Uh, Too slow. It took me too long to realize what was happening. Darn. Oh well. Can't go in there. What I'm doing. I am a little curious. My parents were denounced by our neighbor, and though they had done nothing wrong, they were executed. The neighbor then took our home. I've grieved the loss of my family long enough. I want to take back my own. Teach me how to fight. Okay. One second. I'll be ready for you. He needs to pay me my take. That's enough. Ah. You'll get no money from me. All right, I'm back. All right, Marianne. Sorry. Come at me, and I'll parry your attacks. <gasps> Show me again. Strike through the target. Also, maybe don't advertise where you're going. That well done. Where you're gonna attack like that? Bravo. That's good enough. It is time to get my parents' house back. They denounced my family. My parents were executed the very next day. Come on. I can't wait to skewer them. They took my family home. I must take it back. Let's 
clairement quelque chose. Come on. My great grandfather built that house with his own hands. That's my house there. I wish you would run a little bit faster. Okay, now what? Now what? doing anything i'm doing it all for her and i'm okay with that i used to help her make it did nothing and I'm okay with that <laughs> oh, mother's silver thimbles these were a gift when she came of age merci monsieur I will treasure the memories I recovered <laughs> all right next is we're gonna take a break because with all the water I've been drinking, I have to pee. I'll be back in a bit. Don't go anywhere.
All right, everybody, I'm back. Oh, where'd the game go? There we go. Uh, hello to the queen. All right, fair, fair, fair. Ha hello, hello, queen. G good to see you. Sorry that you uh, popped in right as I went to break. Um, all right, so next on the list, we'll do, we're gonna do some murder mysteries. Um, let us do... Uh, let us do this one. That's the one we were struggling to try to find before, and I think that's because Desaad was under arrest and thus not in his location. So, back right there it is. So yeah, we'll start with this one and do some murder mysteries. Arno Holmes. Well, Arno Dorian, but still. Pardon me. Pardon à moi. That's... A young woman's body has been brutally whipped. Her hands are bound and she is covered in wounds. This appears to be the Marquis de Sade's personal diary. Can't read it because there's a case file in the way. Uh, it is filled with explicit and disturbingly violent sexual content as well as far-ranging philosophical musings. Like I said, de Sade is an interesting historical figure. Uh, ropes and a gag, short ropes and a, and a spittle-soaked gag all stained in blood. A canife. She was a favorite of that citizen de Sade that came around so much. He never treated her proper. I told her, send him away, but he pays so much. Look, ropes, whip, that's the sad all right, Randy bastard. Uh, the spikes and hooks. Bloody instruments capable of puncturing human flesh. And oh this God, person. There's men coming and going all the time. I didn't see Desaad last night, but he could have been here. Comes here a lot. It was too dark for me to see him proper. But there were some odd goings on last night. One John came in, but didn't stay long enough to really do anything. And then there were two men, but only one went into Susanna's room. Okay. Ah, and then there is. The whip, a long whip with the tip flecked in blood. There is a maker's mark on the handle. Okay, and an address. All right. Okay, day. I'll be back. So it seems that the sod is the obvious choice, or obvious um, culprit, but we know the sod, and while he is a randy bastard. That seems to be a bit far, even for him. Well, this is a surprise. Are you all right? Need a doctor. A new client. All right. Anyway, where was I going? I was going over here. All right. Uh, it wants my two options are Sod's Villa or the leather shop. Let's go to the leather shop first. No, no. Desad is the obvious. Desad is the obvious. So let's go to him first, and then we'll go to the leather shop. At all sides point to Desad, but we know Desad. Um. 
Hell, we saved him from getting decapitated. So like he'd be he'd be straight honest with us. He's being framed. Get off the geometry on now. Here we go. Call the America. Ports of Miracles. Okay. I'm unable to say what the Marquis was engaged in last really? night. It was a rare night off for me. If any of his personal effects are missing, well, hey Rose, he gets good up to in see you. Activities and becomes careless. He could have left them anywhere. Come on then, you old reprobate. Unhand my master. You shut up. It's quite all right, Olivier. This may be amusing. Back to jail. It's all too delightful. Really? Murder a girl? Those days are behind me. But I do enjoy the farce. I did visit Susanna with some frequency, but not last night. I'm sure my valet can confirm my whereabouts. There was a young man. Some days ago, perhaps rather too taken with my philosophies, I recommended Susanna to him. It's not impossible he might know something. Besides, letter to the valet, I'll meet you there and we'll arrange payment 50 livres as discussed. Okay. Uh, let's go to the leather shop. For now. Yeah, we'll go to the leather shop because I'm not seeing any other major options at the moment. And there are three other spots other than uh, the leather shop. We just have to unlock them. Oops, sorry. <laughs> not here I can't see you well I mean if you're not here then why are you not here sure I, I made that whip well, I suppose it could belong to Dussard I sell him all sorts of things but you know there's a student strange fella he wanted to buy all the same things that Desad bought. Seemed to think Desad is some kind of god or something. I've got his address in the delivery book. Let me see. Yes. Here it is. Leather shop delivery book. Because I'm your cause you're over there. I see. And it's an address. Got it? Okay. So two more addresses. Unless they're the same address. Uh -huh. That is what I'm looking for. Susanna? Desard told me about her. I arranged a time and thought about all the things I would do to her. <laughs> I started to lose my nerve, though, so I drank a couple of bottles of wine. 
By the time I got there, I couldn't go through with it. I turned around and left. Anything else? I heard two men in the dark just when I was leaving. One of them said, after it's done, come and meet me in the church courtyard at Saint Nicolas de Champs. I'll pay you there. Besides infamous volume describing the depravities of four libertines locked in a castle with several dozen victims of both sexes. Some of the abuses described are underlined. Yeah, moving on from that. What are you ooping about, Yvonne? Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark S-O, I believe. At least that's what I have it set to. Yeah, that. Sir? I'm here all the time. I've got nowhere to go. Who are you looking for? I saw a couple of fellas meet here late last night. One of them was dressed all fancy. Must be a servant. I overheard him mention his master, the Marquis. Afterwards, the other man went into that building right there. Oh, I have no idea about that one. A serious letter. You have done exceptionally well to find someone with access to Desaad's personal effects. Under no circumstances are you to do the fatal deed yourself. You, we must avoid having suspicions raised on the committee. Uh, let our poor dupe do the work. He will be highly rewarded. 50 livres as are enclosed. When all the when all is done, Desaad will wither in jail and his immoral and pernicious influence on our citizens will be washed away like so much aristocratic blood. Uh, contains a collection of scandalous newspaper articles about the Saad, including his misadventures in that place, Marseille, and at La Coste. Uh, if you can, if you can look up the command, uh, I will absolutely do the thing. Like, if you can look up the keyboard commands and all of that. Okay, so have we been to all six locations? Let's see here. One, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So yes, we have. Um, 
Have we gathered all the things? 202. Two. Or two. Oops. Three out of three. One out of one. And come on. Seven out of seven. Okay. So yeah. Alright. Oops. Helps if I'm pushing the right button. Uh, case files. This one. Okay. Uh, Marquis Vassad's personal diary was found at the scene, as were a bunch of, um, shall we call them toys. Uh, one of the women in the, bro in the brothel, uh, said that several men came through and she did not see Desaad. Um, but that it was possible he was there. Uh, she noted one customer stayed a very short time. Um, that was probably the student with the alcohol. Uh, who, um, and then afterwards, two men arrived, but only one went into Susanna's room. Those are probably the two men that we've learned about since. Um, statement from this chick. Another one at the, uh, from a statement from another per, uh, woman at the brothel uh, claims Susanna was a favorite of Desaad, who came around frequently. Claims she warned Susanna about him. Noted that the objects in the room were typical of Desaad. Whip and more toys. Yep. Okay. Uh, then Desaad admits to visiting Susan, Azu, uh, Susanna with some frequency, but not on the night in question. Uh, he claimed his valet could provide an alibi. Noted the appearance of a young man who, who subscribes to Desaad's philosophies. Desaad re recommended Susanna to him. Uh, the valet did not know Desaad's whereabouts on the night in question. Noted that Desaad is careless and could easily leave his personal effects anywhere. There was a letter to the valet with a mysterious I'll meet you there and we'll arrange payment with 50 livres. livres. Um, we went to the leather shop where the whip was made uh, and that's where we got the address for the student. who had a copy of of the works by Desaad, and the student claimed he couldn't do the thing that he wanted to do and um, passed two men on the way out, one of which said, after it's done, come meet me in the courtyard at St. Nicholas de Champs and I'll pay you. Then at that churchyard, there was a man who saw two men meet on the night in question, one dressed up in li li uh, livery, livery, whatever the other man went into a nearby building we went to said nearby building and found a scrapbook which has a collection of scandalous newspaper articles about the sod but we also found a mysterious letter which also had the specific the specific number of 50 livres enclosed so we know that one of the men it, okay so two men one did the deed the other paid him to do the deed uh, the one that was paid to do the deed is close to Desaad. And the other man is connected to some council or committee. Um, so, but since we found that letter to the valet, it's almost certainly the valet who actually did the deed. So we need to go to Desaad's place, which is right here. Uh, where am I going? Dark Villa, here we go. Alright, we know Desaad didn't do it, and that is Desaad over here. I'm unable to say what the Marquis is engaged in. And this is the valet. It's a rare night off. 
if any of his so I'm going to get up in his face. Well, he gets caught up in his activities and becomes careless. He could have left them anywhere. And I'm going to accuse this man. If it'll let me. I'm unable to say what the Marquis was engaged in Hello. last night. It was a rare night off for me. If any of his person, after the degradations that I've suffered at the Dassard's hands, I jumped at the chance to put a gruesome end to the man. I do hope you're proud of yourself. That animal Dassard should be in here instead of me. Yeah, but he didn't actually murder somebody. That we know of. A Jezebel killed. Hardly a crime in my estimation. Take well, your you're team. an asshole. Sex work is real work. And these people are people and they deserve to be treated as such. Alright. All right, next, uh, let, uh, oops, wrong thing. Progress tracker. Next, murder mysteries. Um, let's do, yeah, let's do this one next. Yeah, let, let's do them in order of, like, difficulty. Uh, this one's the, so this one's a three, this one's a two, this one's a three, a four, a four, and a five. So let's do this one next. Um... Okay. All right. Solve the mystery of the bag filled with bones. Have we found this one yet? No, it does not appear to be. Okay, so if I, so I think it's over here-ish. If I'm reading this right. I have a map up of where they are so we don't have to spend forever just wandering around looking for them. Yep, there it is. Inside the bag are several bones, including a human skull with a gold tooth. that bag sitting in the mud. Did you see? A gold tooth. I only know one man with a gold tooth. He lives with his daughter on the Rue de la Verrerie, number five. What, a gold tooth? Not many folks with gold teeth. There's a barman right close by at the Limping Dog Tavern. I'd hate to think he's been killed. All right, so we have two potential victims. We have a body, but we don't know who the victim. We don't have the identity of the victim yet. Um... So uh, we'll go to the closest one, see if the person in question has been murdered. Or is missing, even. Alright. What'll it be? Gold tooth? Yeah, this front one right here. I'm damn proud of it. Real tooth got knocked out in a bar fight. Okay, so the barkeep is alive. 
that uh, unfortunately may mean that the father that was mentioned who lives with his daughter may not be alive. Oh, for the love of Christ. Come here. Excuse me, coming through. All right. Urgent murder business. There's a person named Jamie in this, and I am uncomfortable. <laughs> Disappeared. He's easily recognized. Tall, has a gold front tooth. He can be rather strict, but he has my best interests at heart. There is a person in this whose name is Bella's father Jamie. Went out to make some purchases three days ago and never returned. The grandmother is always making lists of errands for him. My luck, he's the murderer. Murderer. Yes, it is spelled wrong, yes. But still. Where are the other two bits of evidence? Oh. Why are you pointing at me all of a sudden? I'm handsome. Ah, upstairs. There's upstairs stuff. Okay. I'm Neba? the girl's grandmother. Bless her heart. I'm too frail to run errands, so her father would do them. I'd given him a list and sent him out to buy some things. I don't remember everything that was on that list. But I did want some things from the merchant right down the street on Rue des Lombards. Okay. Bella's house. Letter to Jamie. A letter to Jamie from Bella. Oh, no. A letter from Jamie to Bella. You know the depth of my love for you. My every breath is a sigh for you. I will always be yours despite all obstacles. The return address. Okay. All right, let's go check out the market before we go worry about Jamie. Do I know a Bella? I mean, technically, the name is not Bella. Uh, her, her name is not Bella, like, alone. Like, I know an Isabel. I know an Isabel. I know an Isabella. Um... Trying to think, do I know anybody else? I 
I know I knew someone whose name was not Bella, but who went by Bella. <laughs> wasn't even like their name wasn't even like it wasn't even a nickname for their actual name. They went by Bella because they really, really, really liked Twilight. Does that count? Please tell me no. It's just because I knew them doesn't mean I got along with them. Ah, now this is a fortune coincidence. Oh, you revolutionary bastard! No, you don't! Thank God. with a gold tooth. A few days ago he came by, bought shoes and sundries. His next stop was a butcher's shop that he'd never visited before. Asked me where it was. He left his list behind. He left his list behind. So I bet that's what this is on the on the ground if I could wouldn't let me interact with it. Let me interact. With a there we go. Suit. A few days ago, he came by, bought shoes, leather shoes, cloth, next stop, brush, never general before. store, Ask me where it was. butcher that shop, but the address is crossed out, and a different hand is written sausages, butcher shop, in 31, blah, 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 blah. this butcher shop this that's Jamie's house Bloody bucket overflowing with half ground organs, probably from an animal. Some meat cleavers and used aprons. Come on. Damn it, what was it? A large sackcloth bag. Similar to a bag found on the shore, contains pig bones. We have a person groaning on the ground, and we'll get to him in a second, because there was this. Butcher shop, small bag, contains a pair of women's leather shoes, and a bolt of cloth and other small items. Items that probably match the shopping list. So he was here. Whoa. I must have been out for a while. Took a real blow to the head. Fella came in here, I thought he was a customer. And he jumped me in my own shop. He was wearing a tradesman's coat and a three-corner hat. Oh, he had some kind of crazy accent. Scottish, maybe? Oh, no! Oh, no! It is Jamie! Ah, uh, no. 
Uh. Even lives near where the the thing was found. God damn it! I am not. This man brings the name uh, shame to the name Jamie. Can't even call himself. Can't even call him a real man. He murdered somebody. Well. No, I won't go that far. A series of love letters from Bella to Jamie. I love you so, but in, I'm in despair. My father simply will not allow our union. Leave my daughter alone. Your attentions are unwanted. Bella is meant for a much better match. She will certainly not marry a ridiculous Scotsman. I forbid you from seeing her again. Yeah, it was Jamie. God damn it. This, m this murderer brings shame to the name of Jamie. When we disagree with so we, when Jamie's disagree with somebody, we don't murder them. We argue with them and get very, very mad at them. And we tell them we hate them, but we don't murder them. The only times we murder is for proper, complete justice, not for so, uh, not for not for selfish reasons. That is the Jamie way. Would you let? We do not murder. Uh, Jamies do not murder for selfish reasons. We murder for justice and righteousness. If we don't like somebody, we argue with them, we tell them we hate them, we glare at them, but we do not murder them. You have besmirched the name of Jamie. And for that, you will go to prison. Bella's father went out to make some purchases three days ago and never returned. The grandmother is always making lists of errands for him. Let me accuse you. Bella's father went out to make some purchases three days ago and never returned. The grandmother is always making... Yes, I turned him into mincemeat and he deserved it, old miser. Justice for Jamie's. I should have chopped you up into haggis as well. <laughs> Hashtag not all Jamie's. <laughs> <laughs> Chopped him up, eh? Nasty business. Well, pick a weapon. Follow up on what you found, you'll get there. Oh, I missed. All right. So we completed that. We're down to let's go with this one. The body politic.
One moment. Come on. There we go. All right. Sorry. I was arguing with the thing. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay. I must go... to... here. Nope, here. There we go. Okay. You want to solve a murder? Oh, geez. Also, the thing I was saying about Jamie's only murdering for, uh... <laughs> For the sake of legal reasons, let me clarify. The thing I was saying about Jamie's only murdering for righteous and justice reasons, that was a joke. For legal reasons, I must state clearly and definitively that that was a joke. <coughs> One second. remember this one this one was great this one was great i remember this one i enjoyed this one i enjoyed this one man's body in the dining room michel hannabert a man in his 30s slumped at the dining table traces of blood dripping from the mouth indicating internal hemorrhage my poor dear Tien. i was afraid such a thing would happen I feared just such an event for weeks. My husband has endured many death threats ever since his vote to spare the king. He even took the extraordinary precaution of hiring Armand to protect himself. Well, Armand, what do you have to say for yourself? Are you Armand? You are not Armand. You must be Armand. Are you Armand? No, you're Monsieur Gerard. Who the fuck is Armand? Uh, 
Okay. Um, I guess we'll talk to this guy first. I hope I'm not to blame in any respect. It was I who advised Ennebert to invite the Gerard. I hope to calm the murderous political situation. The wine was poured, and we all drank a toast to letting bygones be bygones. Ennebert immediately fell choking to the ground. Huh? I am Madame Gerard. My husband and I were invited to dine, and I was looking forward to a lovely evening. The Ennebert are known as a delightful couple. Citizen Hennebert was a political opponent, but he certainly had my respect, and my wife and I were delighted to accept his invitation. I understand that one of his servants has gone missing. That seems odd indeed. Victim's wine glass. Partially filled, a powdery residue along the rim. Appears to be powdered glass. Necklace. A broken necklace made of glass beads. One appears to be missing. Hmm. I remember who did it. I remember who did it. You. That's right. Hello, my friend. All right. Poor Monsieur Hennebert. He was always kind to me. It's all my fault. André brought in the wine. Armand here tasted it, and André poured everyone a glass. They toasted, and right away, Monsieur looked all queer. Then he fell dead. I am worried about André, though. He's completely disappeared. Here, I'll give you his address. He might know something. It's my job to protect Monsieur Ennebel. I search get out of your personal house space for there, weapons sir? or vials of poison. I also taste his food and wine before he has any, but I failed. I tasted the wine just before it was served by Andre. Like an idiot, I didn't taste it directly from his glass. A guest could have slipped poison into his empty glass long before the wine was poured. That is true. Alicia, tell Andre to order a new window from the Glazier. Glazier, probably. Window pane. Cracked window pane with a bullet hole. What the hell is the window pane about? But I failed. I tasted the one. <coughs> I am worried about Andre, though. All right. So, Andre's house first. Missing servants, okay. Do 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 Are there Templars all over the place? Hey, what are you afraid of? Dinger! You won't escape me. An old woman. My son ran to the apothecary. <coughs> the one near the post office.
Andre's house bottle has a crude drawing of a skull and bones on it. Indicating a poison. Note for Andre. Andre, you are to go to the glazier at 31 Boulevard, blah, 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 for a replacement window. Okay. All right, let's go to the apothecary, see if we can't find him there. Uh, yes. What's the matter? I didn't know anything happened to Monsieur Hennebert. After I poured the wine, I stepped back to the servants' area. A messenger came to tell me that my sainted mother had taken a turn for the worse. I ran home, then rushed here to buy her some medicine. The only unusual thing about the evening was that just before the wine was served, Madame Girard's necklace broke. Monsieur Girard tried to fix it at the table. Hmm. There was a broken necklace on the floor. Uh, now let's find the glazier. Glazier. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Where the fuck is the glazier? Am I blind? Am I fucking blind? Apparently, I'm fucking blind. Ah, up here. Ah, that's a long way. All right. Yay, yay. Wait, can I just teleport up there? Is there a nearby teleportation? That kind of is. So how you doing, chat? Oh, 
I do a lot of work for important politicians. I don't much like folks nosing about. Get on out of here. List of accounts. Citizen Hanabab, replacement window pane, Mademoiselle Lamas, large mirror, Patriot glass beads for a necklace, including one PR drop. Mademoiselle Bazette, set of wine glasses, Mademoiselle Lenormand, crystal sphere. Glass bead, a teardrop shaped glass bead. Very resilient, yet cur curiously, when the glass tail is broken off, the entire bead bursts into powder. Prince Rupert drops. They're fascinating and amazing things. I do a lot of work for important politics. I don't much like folks, no. Oh, wrong thing. I want the database. That. <sighs> An unnamed patriot. Real quick, let me check the map. I know I haven't gone to all the places yet, but let's see here. We have the Apothecary has one out of one. Andre's place is three out of three. Three out of three at the Blazier. Let's go back to... Um, four out of four and seven out of seven. There's got to be something around here that we're missing. A 
Envoyé à Bicêtre. Hey! Oh, still your runt! Oh. I've got a message for you! Oh, quel gaz! Oh, je parie qu'il avait. It's a broken window. Anything in here? How about up here? Is there anything in here? Yes. Okay. Office. Take care, my friend. We suspect that the Montagna radicals have established links to the Black Office, operating out of the office of the Post. Your every move is being watched. Adrian Dupont, proud memory of the people and friend of the Constitution. Okay. <clears throat> Note from Good Day. Good Day. Oh, come on. Go away so I can look at the thing. <laughs> Citizen Hannah Bear. The incident of the bullet through your window is the final straw. I am sure you as the target are more cognizant than I that we cannot allow your life to be put in constant danger. The precautions you have taken do not appear to be adequate. As a result, the other leaders and I believe that we must bridge the chasm uh, with the people. I advise you to invite Citizen Gerard and his wife to our weekly dinner. I will attend as well. It's a purely social gathering to help clear the air no discussion of politics will be allowed okay and up here anything up here yep Still one location I have yet to go. Oh, the black office. They said something in the post office. Uh, the apothecary is near the post office. Where is the post office?
Palais Royal. There it is. The Black Office operated from the time of Louis XV and was one of the state's secret services responsible for censoring mail through systematic espionage. Once intercepted, letters were placed in a small red leather portfolio, the contents of which were concealed under the neutral moniker Foreign Gazettes. <laughs> uh, premises in which the Secret Service employees worked were connected to the office of the Post Office Director General, who oversaw the Cabinet Noir. Letters that required examining were pushed through a hatch to specialized agents who promptly opened them, making a copy of those likely to be of interest to the King, who, if he deemed necessary, would forward them to his ministers. The National Assembly attempted to curtail the work of the Cabinet Noir, but its services were too valuable. The office continued to function as a spy service set up uh, up through Napoleonic times. Okay, but where? Where the hell is the post office? They said the apothecary is near 
Andre's house. Apothecary is near the post office. So let's go just search around the apothecary. Um. It's like, I know who did it. And I believe we have enough evidence to prove who did it. But I want to complete the actual thing, you know? Is the black office. May I come in? Cool, I can come in. In that case. Jesus. Okay. Well, I found the black office. Okay. Note to agents, we've gold Gede into arranging a dinner at Henna Bear's home. Please move forward with the plan. The liquid is so is quite robust and can endure the high temperature of the glass seal that you describe. A second hand has scrawled across the bottom the following. Everything looks good. Use our usual glass maker to put this in place. What's he got in his noggin? Egalité, vertu, liberté, patria, le peuple. In fear of his life, a sharpshooter put a hole in a window at his domicile. We believe he will be amenable to a greeting, to a meeting, to cool passions, and at th that point will be vulnerable. Okay. A patriot from the black office. Hmm. They lured, they tricked these people into uh, meeting up. 
so that they could murder the guy. <sighs> they use the glazier to create a Prince Rupert drop that held poison in it. They put that on the woman uh, in the woman's necklace and during the dinner Antoine uh her husband uh intimidate me eh suicidal nutter her husband fiddled with her necklace they claimed her necklace broke she f they fiddled with her necklace and then broke one of the things into his are you trying to be a pain shit out of your bony i know all about pain you tired of living maggot into his and then put the the stuff into his cup that's where the powdered glass came from that's where the why the necklace is broken it was this man Monsieur Gerard. Citizen Hennebert was a political opponent, but he certainly had my respect, and my wife and I were delighted to accept... Well, he voted to spare the king! Such men are traitors to the revolution! He was a traitor to the revolution! I should get a medal! I still can't make this one out. The glass won't break. Odd. Go ahead, choose. Yeah, that one was a very odd one and stuck in my brain. So I remembered that one. But I couldn't remember where the final... Uh, I couldn't remember the location of the final thing. Anyway. Um... Wrong button. I want... This. Let's see here, we have about four minutes left. Do we have time for another one? Um, how many more do we have? We have one, two, three, four more of these. And then a lot of these. And... Five of these. Huh. <sighs> yeah. Um, we're actually gonna call it there. Um, because you know, we're pretty close to ten o'clock, and anything I would do would put me over. And like I said at the start of the stream, I'm not at my best right now, so I kind of just want to call it now. Um, so yeah, before we head out, you should absolutely check out, whoops, check out these amazing people I have listed right here above my head. I have even more recommendations in that link tree down there. Um, I have, uh, speaking of that link tree, if you go to that link tree, you will find links to my socials, my discord, my YouTube, my Twitch my Patreon and stuff like that, where you can find me, support me, and follow me, and all of that wonderful stuff. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah. That's it for me for the night. We'll be back tomorrow with more Tomb Raider. Um, so until then, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe. Love yourselves and love everyone around you. Excuse me, I will see you all tomorrow. I love you all. Peace out.